Okay, yeah. So yeah, in in, in some cases you would have definitely seen that uh, the performance of plug flow is exactly identical with the performance of batch. Okay, physically can you see any correlation between these two? This is a flow reactor where continuously you feed, continuously you are getting. The other one is batch reactor, but still you will get the same given uh, you know the same volume. Uh, you may get the same time for some conversion. Here also I can calculate tau no. In this also we can calculate what is the residence time required for certain conversion, and uh, residence time is equivalent to volume. Correct no volume. Residence time is equivalent to volume. Right, and of course we are talking about only reaction time. When you talk about batch, when you are comparing plug flow and batch, you are talking about only reaction time. Right, you the other times you cannot take. So definitely then uh, plug flow is better in that case because it is continuous. You don't have to discharge, you don't have to again refill, you don't have to again all that. You know once you start years and years you can run the plug flow reactor all the time. Okay, good. Yeah, but physically, can you say that why both are giving same uh, under certain conditions? And uh, to give you the clue, that condition also I will tell you. The condition is constant density system. Okay, so under constant density system, why the performance is same? Can you imagine something? Because you have also extend your imagination. Okay, why? Because you already know that information that plug flow is also equivalent to batch under some conditions. But uh, normally you should have a question. Oh, that is a batch reactor. This is a continuous flow reactor. Why same? And mathematically, if you calculate, you will get the same timings or same conversion for a given time. You get that. But did you think a little bit of extension other than thinking that okay, this uh, question will come in the examination, so let me do somehow. Okay. Simply the here uh, length by velocity coordinate is replaced by. Length by velocity will give you what? Time. Time, time. That time, if it is just replaced in a batch reactor, batch reactor time, both exact, both are exactly same. That means the time here, with respect to space, is equivalent to the time of reaction. So that means, if ten seconds, let us say uh, you are here. And you can have some conversion. You can find out what is the conversion at this point. And same 10 seconds, if you wait in the batch reactor, if the constant density system is there, you will also get the same conversion. How do you define plug flow? Same residence time. Every molecule same residence time. Yeah, okay. In batch reactor, what will happen? That is the one. Simple concept. In batch reactor, you are not allowing those fellows, and then uh, you are waiting for either 10 seconds or 20 seconds or 100 seconds. You are arresting them. You are they have to be there. Okay. Whereas here, by definition, for reaction to occur, certain reaction that means 90 percent conversion or maybe 80 percent conversion to occur, you also need certain time here. Right. And by the definition of plug flow. All the molecules have to send, I have to spend exactly same time in the plug flow. Whereas in batch reactor, there is no way for the molecules to escape. So that is why all of them have to spend exactly again uh, 10 seconds to get this 90 percent conversion. That is the timings. That is the reason why this can be simply replaced by a batch reactor if you have a constant density system. What do you mean by variable density system? Particularly for gas phases and all liquid phases can be taken as constant density system. That is why in the examination, I am also giving some clues in the examination. If I say that you know a liquid phase reaction taking place in a plug flow reactor, that means you are talking about constant density system. Okay, good. So in the variable density system, particularly for gas phases, I mean um, gas phase reactions, when there is difference in moles. That means either one mole giving four moles, or this may be reverse also. This is also density change in density. But here you will have less volume at the end because four four molecules giving you one molecule here, whereas here one molecule giving four molecules. 
okay, 4 moles and uh, then you also know that at constant uh, you know at NTP, uh, STP, uh, yeah, or 22 point. Ah, for later it will occupy all that things we know. So, then we can easily calculate under given temperature and pressure conditions what will be the increase in volume. Okay? What will happen now inside plug flow reactor when I have this kind of situation? What will happen? No, please remember that in a flow reactor pressure is always taken as constant, volume increases. Pressure increases if you put them and shut them. Yeah, the time of flow now changes. Why? Because here, let us say that also four molecules, uh, you know, one mole giving four moles. Suddenly, all that volume is not increasing. That volume also depends on how much conversion. Depending conversion, if I have some ten percent conversion here volume expands so much. You can calculate that. Okay? And then, if you go slightly inside, then maybe uh, it, it has come to half, then the conversion is let us say half for example, 50 percent conversion. You can also uh, find out what is the volume. That volume, because pressure is constant throughout, that has to reflect only in acceleration. Right? That has to, because there is a way now for these molecules to escape, because there is a continuous flow. On the other hand, in a batch reactor, same reaction I conduct. Right? So, one mole will give me again four moles there. No escape. So, everything is shut and constant volume because I am taking a rigid batch reactor. Rigid. Okay? That means walls are very, very strong. So, then what will happen now? Pressure increases. In fact, that is the technique used by Levens PL to measure for gas phase reactions kinetics. You can now find out depending on conversion what is the increase in pressure, not volume, batch reactor total total pressure. Now, from total pressure, if you know the components, you can find out partial pressure. So, using partial pressures and the time, you can also find out the kinetics, whether the reaction is first order or zero order or uh, no order at all, and the, the, the format of the rate equation you can get from that data. That is why beautifully it is used. And that is also possible, it is a crazy idea, possible to have the variable volume batch reactor. How do I do that? I will take balloon, where the elasticity is very, very high, easily it can expand. That is elasticity where high means easily expands, no? right? Expansion. So, when I put this one mole and then uh, I have the conditions for the reaction, then the uh, at the end of the reaction, if I wait for 100 percent almost, right? then what will be the volume of the balloon now? 4 times, freely expanding, I mean without any uh, resistance. So, even that, that the information also can be used for finding out kinetics. And this is what we have already done, if you would have used the uh, Levens Pale book, I think it is in third chapter, uh, that kinetics chapter where at the end he has given the variable volume and also given very nice problems. How do you find out kinetics? How do you find out k values using variable volume batch reactor and also constant batch, a constant volume batch reactor. But here for our discussion what we have to see here is when I have the gas phase reaction in plug flow, the gas expands and then it moves faster. Okay? So, when it is moving faster, then the residence time of those molecules, I mean, yeah, it will be less. So, for a given volume, conversion will be less. For a given volume means for a given, uh, you know, uh, T value. Okay? Yeah. So, that also you should have calculated. That means, variable volume, what is the conversion and uh, for a given time, for example, or uh, constant volume, what is the conversion. Because variable volume, particularly when you have one mole giving four moles, what will happen? Gas expands. What will happen to concentration? Decreases. When concentration decreases, rate of reaction will be less. So, when the rate of reaction is less, then more time. You see, you do not need any expressions at all. You do not have to write a equation for each and everything. First, I think that like a story you have to discuss. Then, if you want to exactly find out, okay, now what is exact conversion or what is exact time for a given conversion, 
then th that means the numbers when you come, when you ask, then you have to use mathematics. Otherwise, to explain subject, I do not need mathematics. But please remember, in engineering, mathematics play a great role because every engineer has to quantify. Anything you have to quantify. Right? At the end, when you are saying that, uh, okay, my reactor volume is 1 meter cubed, and people will ask you, you know, you cannot simply say that like God, gods only can say that, okay, use 1 meter cubed, you cannot question them because they are gods. But if I give that, you will, 100 questions will come, sir, why 1 meter cubed, sir? Like you already told, no? I told 7 meter cubed, you say pi is 7 meter cubed. You question me. That means to prove that I need mathematics and then I have to say whether you are right or I am right. For that, mathematics will come into picture. That is why mathematics and uh, engineering inseparable. Medicine to, to, to some extent they can escape. Okay? Otherwise, there are also tremendous amount of ma mathematics in medicine also when they go to research level. But to give aspirin tablet, they don't, we do not need any uh, mathematics because we also know when to take aspirin tablet. Okay, all of us, even without being doctors. Okay? So, that is why the mathematics part comes only when you want to quantify. Please remember that as engineers. And quantification is a must for any engineer. You have to tell at the end, okay, so much is the diameter of the pipe, use this. I am not talking about reactor, anything. Okay, I think heat exchanger area is this, 10 meter square. How do you get 10 meter square? You have to uh, calculate. How do you calculate? You have the heat transfer equations. Right, design equations. Same thing, even I think distillation column, anywhere you go, mathematics automatically come because you have to finally tell that this is the diameter, this is the height, this is the composition, all that. Good, okay, good. So, now I think you know the difference between uh, uh, the batch reactor and uh, when you will have different conversions for a given uh, volume or when you have the same conversions. Okay? So, uh, that is one information which uh, I want to tell you. Okay. So, the other information just uh, <coughs> the design expression for this now, right? the design expression. For design expression now, yeah, how do you write the design expression depends on what kind of system you have. Have you heard of what is called distributed parameter system and lumped parameter system? Okay. This comes as distributed or lumped? What is distributing there? Lumped. Yeah, I want you to, you know, I want perfect understanding for you. So, so, so that is why I am asking, what is distributing there? Concentration and if it is non isothermal temperature is distributing from this end to that end. Whereas, in a mixing flow reactor, when you want to write the balance, so there, yeah, only inlet you know what is entering and only outlet you know what is entering. So, but in between, if you want to write the balance, you cannot write because there is no change. You cannot see any change. There is change between inlet and outlet and outlet also will have exactly the same conversions as inside. Right? In fact, that is the approach taken by entire BSL. You know who is BSL? You do not know BSL? That you should know. Ah. Only you are telling very feeble voice about Stuart Putnam. Okay, but I think with a lot of voice, you know, okay. Uh, all of you have used about Stuart Lightfoot? Ah, what is the name of the book? Transport Phenomena. Where are these people from? The University of Wisconsin. Which country? US. US. Okay, good. Yeah, and when they were very young, they wrote that book. Right? I think all of them are around 30, 35 and they changed the thinking of all engineers. It is not only chemical engineers, even other engineers thinking also they have changed. Till then everything, uh, I do not say everything, but many of the things are only empirical. Doing experimental work, finding out correlation. That is why you have lot of correlations when you are designing heat exchangers, mass exchangers like uh, absorption columns, distillation columns and all that. These people came and told that even in engineering, we can write mathematical equations and then we can solve them and then we can get, you know, the constant. Everywhere you see, Bolt Stewart Lightfoot, there is only one uniform of, uh, exercises what you do. At the end, what you get all the time is either it is velocity profile, concentration profile, temperature profile, that is all. 
the moment you know concentration profile, velocity profile and temperature profile, using that with the distance, profile means with the distance only, using that you can find out what is called flux. How do you do that? Uh, you take the molar yeah, fixed law. Fourier's law. That's all. If you now go back and see, the entire book is only that. But the complications depend on what kind of balance you write, what kind of system you take. But at the end, all the time again, writing a, a, a differential equation and then solving that and solving as a you know a conversion or some parameter as a function of distance. Of course, unsteady state also you can take, then you will get partial differential equations, partial differential. That means, now that parameter concentration changing with time as well as place. That is all, the entire transport phenomena is that, but you know the philosophy is that. But the moment you want quantification, you have to take one particular problem, write the material balance. Where do you write the material balance and energy balance? When there is a change, you take a small element, that is what, what we are going to take now. This is the small, I am showing a big element here, but that is supposed to be very small element. Okay? So, then we have to write what is entering, what is leaving, what is reaction in that. Okay? So, we call this one as uh, okay, volume this volume is dv, this is F a, it is not F a naught, somewhere inside I am taking. So, this will be F a plus d F a, that is very simple, okay? d F a and then now we will, uh, we have to write uh, the overall balance right? and the overall universal balance what we have, we are only writing for isothermal. So, we are only writing for mass and when you talk mass, you have to always talk about one particular component. Please remember that I am repeating many times. Okay? Whereas, for heat transfer, everything is together, okay? the entire heat. Okay, good. So, now, uh, that universal equation for us M B mass balance for A, if I have a reaction A going to R, just I am imagining okay? for easy writing. So, M B for A is, what is entering this element F A? Oh, sorry. I have to write the universal equation first, no? Yeah, this is input equal to output plus short form reaction plus yeah accumulation. Okay, all reaction engineers are steady state people. All process control engineers are unsteady state people because they don't know what is steady state. <laughs> okay, so that is why we happily assume that that is not there, right? So now we have only three terms: input, output, reaction. Of course, sometimes this also we have to use, and particularly when you are starting the reactor first, you should know under what kind, at what time the steady state comes. So for that to read, definitely you have to again solve. But again, that you will, you will get depending on uh, the equation whether you get unsteady, I mean, uh, partial differential equation or uh, the other uh, ODE, ordinary differential equation. But that you will come later when you are talking about residence time distribution. But this is the one, uh, one of the simplest equations what you are going to get. So, this moles MB for A means we were also we are also talking about moles per time, maybe second. This is better to write in the beginning, right? So, now F A, according to our notation, okay, I think maybe some other people are there. So, F A is moles per time, moles per second for example, right? and V is yeah, meter cubed per second. So, this is called volumetric flow rate, this is called molar flow rate and C A naught is yeah, moles per meter cube. They are not universal. Please uh, do, 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 do not scold me when I give a problem in kilo moles, okay? because I think either kilo moles or moles or LB moles also I can give, pound moles also we can give. 
okay, or meter cubed or feet cubed or centimeter cubed okay, or millimeter cubed or whatever. Right? So, that is uh, this is only per unit volume and x i naught is conversion where there are no units. Similarly, this side also you have same thing, but we are now balancing moles per second. So, I have f a equal to f a plus d f a is the change here that is the change either positive or negative okay, that will come automatically plus you have the reaction where is the reaction taking place that reaction is taking place within this volume and what are the units of uh, reaction rate because homogeneous we are talking right now okay so moles per unit volume per uh, time so that's why i will write here our rate is minus r a because always we write a as the key component this is minus r a and i will also write here moles per meter cubed per second into volume is only dv dv is meter cubed okay yeah dv is meter cubed so meter cubed meter cubed gets cancelled so i will have the entire only moles per second so my balance is right right okay good so now uh, this fa fa both are same so i can bring here minus dfa equal to minus ra into dv if i call this one as equation this is equation 1 this is equation 2 this is equation 3 right so in fact i can simply write this equation as dfa by dv equal to minus r a by writing this this equation is not useful to me because i would like to put this equation in terms of easily measurable uh, values f a is not that easily measurable so but i think and i want to measure only in terms of conversions concentrations or conversions okay good so now before going to that uh, yeah okay let me do that and then afterwards uh, we will uh, simplify this yeah so now for flow system uh, for batch reactor how do you define conversion for batch how did you define i think we also told no yeah n a not minus n a n a not is initial uh, moles minus n a is moles at any time so, n a not minus n a will give you are you following n a not minus n a giving you moles converted divided by initial, initial mass. Okay. But for flow system, we, d we write the same thing as F a naught that is moles per time. They are simply moles you are taking. Here per unit time you are taking. So, F a by F a naught. So, this is the definition of oh, definition of X a. Now, from this can you calculate what is DFA? DFA differentiation. Yeah, how much? Minus what do you get? Minus F A naught into D X A into D X A. Minus F A naught D X A. You you brought this one here. Into uh, minus you put there. I think I will don't put minus here. Minus DFA. Okay. Yeah. So now this equation six. These are very simple, but still I am explaining. Yeah. So now uh, substitute that in equation three. What do you get? Substituting in equation three. Substituting actually equation six in equation three. What you minus the DFA I put here. F A naught. D X A equal to minus r a d v. So, this is the basic equation which we use many times particularly for non isothermal systems in differential form. This is the design equation in differential form. Okay. Yeah. So, now we can integrate this. So, when you are integrating this what we will change this one is d v by f a naught equal to d x a by minus r a. So, integrate, integrate. So, what are the limits? 0 to v and 0 to 
x a right. So, I know 0 to v is simply v by f a naught 0 to x a d x a by minus r a. So, this is the design expression for this is 8 <coughs> that is design expression for p of r. Okay? The simplest design expression. Okay? Just for comparison, we have written for batch reactor. What is that? T by C A naught. T by C A naught. Yeah. T by C A naught equal to same same D X A by minus R A. Okay. Just for comparison. Right. Good. So that is the one. So now why this equation has become so simple? This is very simple. If I don't assume I have plug flow because you know that I have to tell you because assumption is one. But you have to also you should have questioned me, sir. What will happen if you don't? Assume plug flow. What would have happened? If there is no plug flow, what is there in the system? Concentration will change. Sir, no input and no output. Ah, no, we have we have input and output. It is it is a flow system, but I am not assuming that I have plug flow. If I do not assume I have plug flow, then what is the non ideality that comes? First non ideality that comes? Action missing. The velocity fluctuations. We are not allowing those fluctuations now here. So, the moment you have the velocity fluctuations, how does the, how do they look like? They look like this. Okay? Now, okay. to bring the point here, I can also write that F A in terms of C A. Can you write that? molar flow rate in terms of concentration and and volumetric flow rate. Yeah. So, that means I can also write here this F A as V into volumetric flow rate into C A naught a C A. So, uh, where do I write? Okay, I think here itself I will write. You can check the I think uh, I am worried about Arya and uh, this uh, Chaya, Chaya, you are chemistry or chemical engineering. Yeah, you are able to follow. Okay. Yeah. So this concentration, you can you, you see because I think we should help them. So I am just telling even these things. So this uh, CA, what are the units? Arya. Huh? CA. Concentration. Concentration is always expressed per unit value. So moles per meter cube and this one will meter cube per second. You write and tell me what are the units of FA? Moles per second. Moles per second. So, that means even this I can replace by C and V, but we wrote directly that because that is the mass balance that gives me. I do not have to use two variables, but my, my biggest problem now is because by assuming plug flow, right? what is the concentration across this? Uniform C A. If I do not assume that, I do not have uniform C A. Then what is that I am writing here? This F A. This F A is indirectly C A and V. And when C A is not uniform, how can I write that? What concentration I take? Because concentration may be different here, different here, different here, different here. At that cross section may be different because it is not uniform across the uh, I mean the cross section. So, then what concentration I can use? What average? How do I know the average? How do you get the profile? So, finally, you, 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 you can do all that, but that is eating like this. Yeah. Okay. But as an engineer, the simplest assumption really we have to appreciate that Professor Denby. You know, Denby. Denby is the person who has, you know, supposed to assume these things, even mixed flow also. He is the person who has done that. Actually, during the Second World War, he was working in an explosive factory. Okay? And he was the person who told that, my God, if you use plug flow reactors, we will not be here in the company. Because I think, you know, temperature control is not that uh, very good in uh, plug flow. 
Okay, so that is why CSTRs we have to use and he started using 2, CS, 2 CSTRs and 3 CSTRs to produce all explosives. Okay, and later he has become great philosopher. Now, he is still there I think, but he stopped thinking about research, but you know I told you know that chemical equilibrium principles of chemical equilibrium that book you know it contains wonderful information about entropy and all that. The moment you talk about entropy immediately you can see God. Because you do not understand entropy, you do not understand God. So, that is why, <laughs> so that is why both are equal. Okay. So, that is why now he is trying to find out where is God through entropy. Okay. He has become, I think he stopped it seems basic research. But his papers, I tell you, if I have one or two papers, I will send it to you. But only thing is, I do not want to create e pollution. Okay. So, I do not know how many of you read my Feed the World. Okay. You see, that is what is e pollution. If everyone uh, reads it, very happy. Otherwise, why unnecessarily sending and otherwise only those people can take from me. Okay. Unnecessarily, your computer also is overburdened after one day, I think it may crash because too many papers and all that. These papers, if you read, throughout the papers, I think you know beautiful logic only, not mathematics. That is why you have to read that book, Chemical Reactor Theory, uh, you know, introduction. Even optimization, which has maximum number of mathematics in chemical engineering, optimization of chemical reactors, various methods. Even there through logic he has found out some conditions for optimality. Later many people used many different uh, mathematical techniques and finally, they said that what he has used intuitively was correct. Some conditions in the nanothermal thermal time I will tell you those things. So, that is why the beauty of assuming plug flow is that. The moment I do not assume that, okay, I will also give you an example. Okay, uh, using this uh, particular, uh, yeah, the, the first thing what I want to tell you is, you do not know how to write material balance if you do not assume first of all plug flow, right. But you can also uh, calculate, quantify things, only one parameter if you take called axial mixing. If you take axial mixing is there and then try to derive the equation and get the equation for conversion. For first order, what is the equation for conversion here? first order constant density system. So, that means, I have minus R A equal to K C A. So, substitute that in this equation V by F A naught equal to 0 to X A D X A by K C A right. K C A can I integrate this directly? You have to write that in terms of X A. So, that is why I have to write okay constants I will take out k into C A naught D X A. It is a constant density system that is why we said uh, C A equal to C A naught into 1 minus X A. Okay? Yeah. C, C A naught into 1 minus X A. So, now this is equal to what? Minus log 1 minus X A. So, if I calculate X A, tell me 1 minus e power again minus comes here no k k c a naught v by f a naught yeah actually i do not have to use tau really i think you know the natural design expression is uh, of course time if you want to write you can but the natural design uh, quantity is V, La volume, you, you directly get from these equations the volume itself. Later you want to convert means ok. So, what is tau here then? Yeah, in fact F A naught by C A naught is V, F A naught by C A naught equal to V. So, V by V is tau, then it becomes K tau, right. Yeah, I mean it is easy to remember k tau instead of remember, uh, remembering another two variables. Because you know we, we should also, uh, sh should not strain our mind no, okay? why unnecessarily remembering unnecessary things. Okay? <laughs> so, that is why if I divide the C A naught, then uh, F A naught by C A naught will give me V, volume by volumetric flow rate will give me tau. So, then it becomes k into tau. So, this will be e power minus k tau, where tau is defined as volume by volumetric flow rate. Okay, are you able to see here? 
yeah so that is nothing but in terms of uh, this will be v c a naught by correct f a naught yeah v c a naught by f a naught okay good now if you do not assume this uh, yeah you will get a very simple equation if you do not assume plug flow and assume the first simplest non ideality is axial mixing we are not taking uh, taking even radial mixing you see axial mixing is the one where uh, you, you are getting but radial mixing also can be non uniform radial mixing okay so now we are taking only axial mixing is one variable first right if i take only that that means i have plug flow i, I don't have plug flow but i have uh, axial mixing coming as one of the non idealities because it is not ideal that we are calling plug flow as ideal because we are assuming that this is the ideality what it should be there why to simplify mathematics that is very simple now you see with this one if i have a axial mixing model this is plug flow model what we have used this one axial mixing model and again first order same first order constant density system that is why I simply write KCA <coughs> constant density system A going to R. If I use that, then the equation which I get, okay, the equation which I get is this. Mm, okay, I think for comparison, anyway, I think I will write this one 1 minus XA equal to. First of all, I have to draw this line 4a exponential of u l by d whole thing divided by 1 plus a whole square exponential a by 2 u l by d minus 1 minus a square again exponential exponential by e to the power minus a by 2 u l by d ah very simple expression no yeah when compared to this if i write this as 1 minus x a this will be simply e power minus k tau okay so now this e power minus k tau oh, 1 minus e power minus k tau yeah, yeah. so now it is not over because what is a you do not know it. Okay, now, I have another equation for A. A equal to square root of 1 plus k tau d by u l. That is the equation and we lost somewhere the numbers. This is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, that is the equation what we have to use if you just consider only one parameter that is you do not have uh, you know that means the actual dispersion is always imagined as we have essentially the plug flow that is not ideal one, but you have some fluctuations over that velocity profile. Okay, that will change and how do I write this? Because now what is happening is in earlier when I assume uh, this I think I have to discuss earlier when I assume that I have only plug flow okay, what mode is the flow inside the reactor because flow can happen by uh, diffusion and convection diffusion is by concentration difference and convection by convection. Only velocity. Only velocity. velocity. Okay. Yeah. So that means we have now two terms. One is convective velocity. Okay. So we will get convective flux plus diffusion flux. That is the total flux. Right. I will give you a simple example. So now I have the diffusion as well as 
convection both okay this is convection plus this is diffusion convection is written as u into ca flux yeah this is minus d here you can take z okay if i take that one as z or x whatever okay so this is diffusion flux so now at this point now i have to write this is the flux row you see here i wrote actually moles per time if i take per unit cross sectional area because here cross sectional area is not changing so that's why we are not taking per unit cross sectional area because it is same uh, diameter right but if i take that that is a flux what is entering here flux leaving there and then what is the reaction inside right so of course correspondingly i have to also use this dv okay to get again moles per time so that is why this is nothing but the flux which i have to write here so these are the two terms now i have to use for solving the equation and the differential equation what you get yeah for uh, taking by taking you know this reaction and uh, diffusion together where you get this kind of equation is this particular one u dca by dz this is the convective term minus d d square ca by d x square yeah plus k into ca if it is first order reaction equal to 0 Okay. Yeah. What is that I am trying to tell now? Yeah. You have to tell now. Yeah. Actual dispersion model. See the earlier one, which are actual dispersion model only. But why I, I, I am telling the actual dispersion model at this point of time now? To appreciate the beauty in assumption of plug flow. So what is the differential equation we got uh, for uh, plug flow? Pure plug flow. Yeah. You see that is d d v na what is that ah uh, no no d f a by d v minus equal to minus r a so this is the differential equation for ideal plug flow i can write this in terms of conversions and all that concentrations also right this f a is nothing but v into c a if i take v as constant so this also can be written v dca by dv equal to minus r right now if i divide by cross section area of uh, this and this divide by cross section area of this and this very simple as this will be velocity and what about this one Volume, this volume element I am now dividing by cross section area. Yes. So now this is D C A by D Z equal to minus R A. This is what I want to prove. How simple this equation is. Whereas this equation, this term. So to avoid this, first we are assuming that we have ideal plug flow. So the, the all this last 10 minutes discussion is just to appreciate the assumption of plug flow, right? So for that to give an example, because example will give you very clear picture. What are the complications if you don't assume plug flow? The complication is this. Okay, this is the equation what you get for calculating conversion given volume. This is called dispersion number. D by U L is called dispersion number. D by U L. Equal to dispersion. Uh, <coughs> no place also. Okay. D by U L equal to dispersion number. Okay. And inverse of this, you know. Yeah, I find I people use this. Peclet number. They call Peclet number. U L by D. Right. Yeah, that will tell me what will be the dispersion. I like, for example, when uh, d by l equal to zero, what is the system? Plug. Plug flow. Plug flow. Plug flow. 
Well, d by equal to infinity. Mixed flow. Mixed flow. When packet number equal to zero. Mixed flow. Mixed flow. Okay. When packet number equal to zero, because diffusivity is infinity. So that is mixed flow. And when packet number equal to infinity, plug flow because diffusivity is zero. So you can get all the extremes by these two numbers. As I told you, high fund of people use this packet number. Low fund of people like me use dispersion number because I don't want to again use another subroutine in the inside my mind. Dispersion number is straightforward. D by U L. D is zero plug flow. D equal to infinity mixed flow. Right. So that's what I, I, I am trying to explain to you. The beauty in assuming plug flow is simplification of the mathematical simplification of the problem. But you have to know question how far that is correct. Is it really correct? That is correct, provided you you take small tubes, okay, diameters maybe you know one inch, okay, around one point five two inches, and maintain very high velocities. The dispersion there will be dispersion. You can never neglect dispersion. Dispersion will be there. So dispersion is uh, um, we have a uh, very high. My mind has gone to time, so that's why. <laughs> okay, so very well valid in packet beds. You know, in packet beds, what is the Reynolds number for turbulence? No idea. Okay, tell me when is lambda? Less than one. In plus than one. Less than one is Stokes law. Only single particle. In the packet bed, how many particles you will have? Less than two thousand. Huh? Less than two thousand. Yeah. Like why? Why two thousand? Why? It is ten. Ten and less in a packet bed, you will have laminar, and five hundred above, you have turbulence. In between, you have transition. Okay, but here Reynolds number is defined how? Huh? Diameter particle. How normally Reynolds number is defined? D by d by m. Here the d is diameter of the particle. There the d is. Diameter, diameter of the pipe. pipe. So that's how it is defined. Okay. So the another example, I think today class itself, I have to give that is uh, I told you know diffusion convection. I will give you an example. I think so that you will not forget. Okay. Two examples I will give. Imagine that I have come with a lot of scent. Scent, spray, spray. Okay. Scent means you may not understand. Okay. That is old word scent. Okay. Yeah, spray or deodorant, perfume. Very good, perfume. And also, by the way, perfumes are made by who? Chemical engineers. Yeah, all wonderful reactions, wonderful. You know, that is low volume, high value product. Low volume, it will be one mm or one ml and ten thousand rupees. Stay there. Can you smell me? No. If uh, yes. you not imagine, I I don't have right now spray. Okay, <laughs> if I have all that perfume and then stay there, can you smell? Not. Not. Depends on the humidity. Why no? Huh? I will take time. What is that time? Depends on the humidity. Diffusion. 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 I mean, I did not ask you instantaneously when you are able to, uh, you know, smell. I did not tell that. No. Instantaneously smelling also is there. Okay. The other example, what I want to give you is the conveyor belt again. Many people are standing on the conveyor belt. That is the convection velocity equivalent to. But some people, very enthusiastic, people, very enthusiastic people, start walking on that. So that is by diffusion equivalent, right? And uh, you know what is the concentration difference? I mean, what is the uh, the gradient for them? Because here concentration gradient. But for the people who are walking, what must be the gradient? Maybe hurry. They have to catch the flight quickly, or they have to move, you know, go quickly. So that's why those people are walking on the conveyor belt. Other people are cool. Okay, let it take me whatever time that is possible. So they stand. That is by convection, normal flow. Above that again, you have diffusion. So now, if you see axial advertisement, you should not forget convection and diffusion. And also now, if you see conveyor belts, again convection and diffusion. But in ideal plug flow, that can, uh, that diffusion is not allowed. In ideal plug flow, diffusion is not allowed. Okay. 